In this problem, we have this function, y equals x squared plus 1 to the ln x, and we have to find the derivative. So uh, I am thinking uh, maybe a good way to do it is to use logarithmic differentiation. So logarithmic differentiation says that you first take the natural log on both sides. So this is the natural log of y equals the natural log of the right-hand side. So x squared plus 1, and this is to the ln x. Then you use properties of logs to clean this up. So you take this, and we can bring it down. That's called the power rule. Whenever you have uh, an exponent here, you can put it in the front. So this is the natural log of y equals the natural log of x. That's times the natural log of x squared plus 1. All right, good stuff. Um, so now we can take the derivative on both sides. So on the left-hand side, when we take the derivative, uh, we just take the derivative, so it's 1 over y times the derivative of the inside, which is dy dx. Remember, if it's ln x, it's just 1 over x. But when it's ln y, y is a function of x. So it's 1 over y times the derivative of the function, which is just dy dx. For this piece here, it looks like we're going to have to use the product rule. Recall if you have two functions, say f and g, and you want the derivative, think of f as your first function and g as your second function. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here our first function is the natural log of x, and our second function is this one. So the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. That's the derivative of the first times the second. So ln x squared plus 1 plus the first. So ln of x times the derivative of the second. So it's ln of x squared plus 1. So it's 1 over whatever you see there. And then times the derivative of the inside, so 2x chain rule. Wow, what a mess. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by y. Well, squeeze in a y there, a little baby y. <laughs> so dy dx is equal to y. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. y. And then we have ln of x squared plus 1 over x plus we have 2x times ln x. I'll put that upstairs. So 2x ln x, and it's all over x squared plus 1, and then we have a parenthesis. And, you know, we could go a little bit farther. Let's do it. Just why not? We're almost there. So dy dx. We can actually re replace y with what it was. So the original question was y, right? So it's this. So you just take that, and you just plug it in here, right, for, for the y. So it'll be x squared plus 1 to the natural log of x, and then parentheses ln x squared plus 1 over x, pretty cool problem, plus 2x ln x over x squared plus 1. And that'll be the final answer. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn some math. Good luck to you.